There comes a one, and this one's already reduced, I can tell, and it's heading towards the CB. I'm standing near the chem buster now, which I'll show you a picture of in a second, but look at this thing fade out. Going, going. Hasn't quite got overhead yet. And it's probably more decent sized a while. Well, wait a minute. Here we've got another one coming along. Let's check this guy out. Yeah, come on. It's still looking kind of solid here. Let's see how long that takes. This is one of your more realistic looking fake clouds. But it looks like it's uh, disintegrating a little bit. Look at that. You can see it's thinning out. It's getting pock marks. The pock marks are getting bigger and bigger and the white is getting smaller and smaller and it's still making its way overhead toward oops, the CB. Come on. Slowly. I've seen more spectacular action, but it just depends. Some clouds you can hardly, chem clouds you can hardly see them fade, and some are pretty spectacular. This one's sort of in between, but you can definitely see it's uh, it's being reduced. There it goes. Not passing directly over the combustor, but pretty, pretty near. And that guy will be gone before it gets very far downwind. You see how it's fading now? I guarantee another couple minutes it'll be gone. Anyway, that gold thing is the guilty machine. There we go. There's that same chem cloud we've been watching. I swear that's the same one. That's all that's left of it now. Let's see here. <clears throat> and there we go. Here's our supreme low-flying chem cloud busting device. And nothing left in the sky now.